Hi Stampers! Today I'm going to show you how I made this little purse and it holds a gift card inside. It's really cute. And I'm going to be using the 5-in-1 envelope template along with the stamp set called Dreams Du Jour. And I'm using the cardstock called Riding, Riding Hood Red. It's the brand new in color. And the designer paper is the Bella Rose. So let's get started. You're going to use your 5-in-1 envelope template, and I'm just going to line this up on my Riding Hood Red cardstock, and I just basically want this outline here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line that up as close to the edge as I can, and I'm going to take my stylus. This is from Stampin' Up! also. This is a two-ended stylus for dry embossing, and I'm going to use the thicker end, but what you're going to do is you're just going to outline that those score lines here like that. Follow it along the template. Actually, I'm going to use the smaller end, I guess. Fits better in there. This is going to be the score line for the purse flap. Let me just go over it one more time to make sure it shows up so I can cut it out. Okay, so then this is your template for your little purse. I don't know if that's even picking it up, but you're going to go ahead and cut that out, which I already did. Already cut that out. Just follow along those lines that you scored with your stylist. And then I go ahead and cut it out, and then I made the score line where the purse is here, right here which I did with the 5-in-1 envelope template and then I just moved the cardstock down about an eighth of an eighth of an inch to get like a double flap here, an edge like that and then I'm going to take the rectangle punch and I'm just going to punch two rectangle holes in between those two score lines like that okay then I'm going to take my word window punch and I'm going to put this in as far as once, it and then I'm going to move it down and punch it again. You might want to put punch it a few times because you want the gift card to s slide in there. Just don't go too close to the edge because we're going to add the designer paper. So just punch it however many times. I find that maybe three times you'll punch it. Okay, then you're going to use some... Riding Hood Red cardstock for the handle, and this is cut at 1 8 by 7. And then the designer paper is cut at, let me get it here. The designer paper is cut at 2 and 7 8 by 3 and 3 quarter, and that's going to go right on the front. Okay, let me show you how I want to do the handle. I'm going to use the glue dots, the mini glue dots. I'm just going to peel one off here. And I'm going to slide this handle inside this punch right here, that rectangle punch. And I'm going to put the glue dot right on the edge of that handle. I'm going to pull it out, and then I'm just going to flip it over. Okay. And then just drag it over to the other side and do the same thing. Can't see upside down. Let me flip it over here. Okay, so just pull it through here, get another glue dot, a mini one, put it on the edge, and then I'm going to pull that out just a tad bit so it lines up and flip it over. And that's going to create your little purse handle like that. Okay, so then for the designer paper, all I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to do the outside edges because now with this word window punch, it's pretty close to the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply it to the top and the bottom, to the edge, and then just apply a little tiny bit on the outside edge because you don't want that to be over top of your gift card. Okay. And then your gift card, let me get this one out of here. Should slide right in there. Like that. Okay? 
All right, and then for the, the little tag I put on this one, I just used the scallop punch. Let me do that real quick. Using the Bella Rose designer paper again, punch that out. And then I used the butterfly from the Dreams Du Jour stamp set, brand new. And I'm going to adhere this to my scallop with the Riding Hood Red. And then I'm going to get a dimensional. Adhere this to that. Watch. And take two of your dimensionals. Now this would be the top, so I'm going to put two of them right on the very top of the edge of the scallop. And then I'm going to close my purse and set that right down on the top of there. And then I got some Velcro. Put them out. You just need a little strip of this. Okay, and I like to stick them together before I put it on the project because then you know it's lined up perfectly. And then I'm going to put this onto my scallop part. There you go. Really cute. All right, here's the finished one again. And the one we just made. All right, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.